You an import boy like me just struggling to find a car in your price range? You get, you're probably getting tired of seeing 8.6s and Sylvia's going for like 15 grand. It gets annoying after a while. If you're in the same situation as me, I have got a list for you. These are five underrated JDM cars you can buy for only 10 grand. Heck, maybe even less. I'm Noodle Soup. Let's get into it. Before we get into this list, I'd just like to clarify to make sure that these cars are not sought after and they are underrated. I made sure none of the cars on this list were in any recent Forza games. I'm not sure what that clarifies, but to me that means they're underrated. So take that however you want. The Subaru Legacy is a car that is quite sadly heavily slept on. I remember not even knowing they existed till like two years ago. This Subaru came as a wagon and as a sedan. I personally prefer the sedan, but the wagon is pretty cool. And from my shopping experience, I have seen a lot more wagons than actual sedans. So if you want a sedan, <laughs> good luck. For those worried about the engine, no need to worry because this has the absolutely amazing Subaru Boxer engine, like the WRX. Now, obviously this is not the exact same engine, as the WRX, so you could probably mod the hell out of these with STI parts. They even made a twin turbo version of this car over in Japan that you can't import yet. At least I don't think so. So if you're looking for a budget WRX or just want a really cool sleeper, Subaru Legacy is the car for you. Lexus SC300 isn't incredibly underrated, but they are pretty cheap. They aren't in any recent Forza games, so I'm counting them. The Lexus SC300 is the American version of the Toyota Soar, which, if you don't know, has a little secret. And that little secret is five words. It has the Supra engine. That's right, the SC300 comes with a 2JZ, or at least that's one of the engine options. The other engine option is a 4 liter Lexus V8, which is not bad. I would definitely love to own one of these. I feel like it's just a budget Supra, considering that Supras are like go for like 50 grand, but you can find like a good one of these for like 10. And if this doesn't convince you, here's an 800 horsepower one. What? A Supra isn't underrated noodle? Are you kidding me? Well, let me explain. For starters, this thing doesn't even have a Jay-Z engine. It does come with a bunch of inline six options, but none of them are the Jay-Z. In my opinion, this is probably one of the best looking Supras. I absolutely love the 80s body styling and the pop-up up and down headlights on these are great too. Great thing about this Supra is that not that many people are into it because of the lack of a Jay-Z engine. Because of that fact, it makes the Supra a whole lot cheaper. So if you'd like a sporty Toyota that isn't an 8.6, and hasn't been affected by the drift tax, it's a pretty good option. Oh boy, this is probably my favorite car on the list. The Mitsubishi Mirage nowadays is a boring commuter car that is known to many as the worst modern car you can buy nowadays. However, the older ones are definitely worth getting. For those of you who don't know, the older Mirage actually had an engine option that came from the Evo. While it will be difficult to actually find one, with the 4G63, it isn't impossible, and if you if you just want to do a swap, it should be a lot easier. However, if you do swap air or you manage to get one with the 4G63, do watch out for crank walk. The Mirage came in a sedan and a coupe, so depending on if you have friends or not, you might actually want one over the other. Favorite thing about the Mirage? It looks like a little baby Evo. I mean, someone literally turned their Mirage into an Evo coupe. That's insane. Rounding off this list, we got the 1981 Nissan 300ZX, aka the Z31. I'll be completely honest, I don't know why people aren't just scooping these up. Like, they're very good cars, a rear wheel drive, they got a V6, they're Nissan, they're JDM, they're basically everything you want. I mean, it's even got pop up up and down headlights. What more could these people need? I will admit, the looks are not the best. I kind of like it, but a lot of people don't. There's also the fact that this Z has definitely aged the worst out of all the generations, which is likely another reason why it's so cheap. Now this car being unpopular does not mean it doesn't have a very devoted following. You can find loads of videos of the Z on YouTube. And although you might have to dig a little deep for some parts, there's still a really solid JDM car that I would love to own. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. I want to put a little disclaimer here at the end that if this video gets popular, so will the cars and thus they're probably not going to be 10 grand. 
but fret not because I highly doubt that will happen. I have no affiliation with Donut Media, but hopefully that can change. Donut Media, please hire me. Follow me on Instagram at Noodle Soup. Thank you again for watching. Drive safe. Peace out. That took a while.